Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video and this video is a bit different from the videos that I usually upload. So in this video, I'm going to try and break or I'm going to try and shatter a wine glass using a pair of computer speakers. I mean, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, ah, this is not gonna work because conventional speakers aren't strong enough to shatter a wine glass. Well, that's what I thought too. But actually, how are we going to break it? So, a glass has natural resonance, a frequency at which the glass will vibrate easily. If the force from the sound wave that's making the glass vibrate is big enough, the size of the vibration will eventually become stronger and then shatter the glass. So, where did I get that information from? I was just reading it from my laptop the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a very thin wine glass so it will be easier for us to break it and these are USB powered speakers so it's not just powered through the auxiliary cable it's also powered through USB so what I will do is I'm going to play a specific frequency using my computer and then just point it to the wine glass and I don't think that will work so I decided to use an audio interface so I think this will amplify the sound and make it louder. Mm -hmm. We're going to try it out. I'm going to get a power source for this bad boy. I'm going to use a power bank which gives out 5 volts and 2 amps. So this will be fine. Now I'm going to attach this audio cable to the output of my audio interface. And let's try to play a sound. Okay, it works. So now we're good. We're connected to an audio interface, a power bank, and the two speakers. And here, I'm going to use a website to play a specific frequency. So I'm using the online tone generator. And we're going to try uh, a range of frequencies and let's see what will work to break the wine glass. I need to protect this table. Now we're ready, we're protected. So what I'll do is I'm going to place it like this, I think. Should I do like this? Or I think I should hold it like that. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. I can increase the volume using this volume knob here for the output because uh, it's already maxed out here and maxed out on my computer so this is my only uh, controller right now. I'm going to get some goggles. can't find any safety goggles so I'm just gonna use normal goggles. Yeah, Ayos na. Safe na safe. What I want to do is uh, make the tone generator play the specific frequency every 5 seconds and it will go to the next frequency and so on so that I wouldn't be touching it from time to time. And I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to uh, lower the volume on the mic so it wouldn't hurt your ears. So I think this will be in high frequency. Okay, so uh, the, the the volume knob isn't uh, that maxed out yet, so I'm going to try and max it out. I need to cover my ears. Okay, so now it's all the volume knob is maxed out, so this will be the loudest 
that the speaker will will play. Still no. I'm actually at uh, 6,790 hertz. I'm trying to go higher now. It's 7,890 hertz. Uh, I'm not sure if what should we put it on. I'm at 11k. There's no sound. I cannot hear it. Um. Okay. Wait. Let me do a quick Google search on what frequency. What frequency does glass break? It's uh, 556 hertz. 556 hertz. So it should. It should be that one. No. Uh, let's. Since. I'm going to make it 605. No, let's try six, 669. And uh, let's try it. The glass is vibrating. It's it worked. Our experiment worked. We were able to shatter a wine glass using conventional computer speakers. At 669 hertz and using an audio interface, the glass shattered. So it was a fun experiment and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye. I'm going to... Clean this all up now. Good thing my laptop's still alive. Is my lens okay? Wait. Hmm. It shattered. It worked. <laughs>